We really attacked this in two different areas from a bond or from a levy perspective, I should say. The um, it's about the infrastructure, for example, security systems, intruder alert systems, electronic locks, all camera systems. None of those are really in place in any of our facilities. And we feel like we have 1,200 good reasons to have safe and secure communities or schools. Um, so that's the levy part of it. The operating part of that is we're partnering with the city of Tenino and Tenino Police Department to have a part-time school resource officer. We'll phase this in over a three-year period. We want to get to a place where every kid is assigned a device. So every kid from high school down to the elementary school. Um, so ideally, when a kid enters ninth grade at Tenino High School, they'd be assigned a laptop that'll be theirs through the duration of their enrollment at the high school. Uh, that's a model that's becoming more and more prevalent in the school districts. And <clears throat> one of the nice things about being a small system is we can scale up to that a lot more quickly than a, a huge system. The, part, the third part of the levy is renovations. And these are renovations. Every school will receive some level of renovation. We feel like the buildings have good bones and they don't need to be rebuilt, but just like any other facility, whether it's your home or uh, you know a building, we just need to make sure that we're taking care of what we have and we're being good stewards of the taxpayers' money. some old pictures of the high school. It looked like one of those cool old mm. Seattle brick mm -hmm. high schools like you see in downtown Seattle. But you can see like the soffits here, the same kind of thing. You can see where they've repaired the roof up there, trying to that transition. 